This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing a video on TPU settings using Ultimaker Cura. And these are the ones I use for my Ender 5 Pro. In the previous video, I did one on Petchy settings. And today I will be doing the one on TPU. I'm choosing the retraction off because this is the one that works best for me on my Ender 5 Pro. If you would like me to send you these profiles directly, please join my memberships. You can join the MikeBot Supporter Plus membership and we can get onto a live chat and I can send you the profiles over. I do these videos as a hobby. It's for your entertainment and education and I enjoy doing this. So I'm glad to help you out. Uh, join the membership and I'll be able to do a lot more and do more one-on-one -on -one sessions with you. So basically, let's get started. I already have a file loaded in here. This is a flexi fish, and I got it off of Thingiverse. So for TPU, I go with a 0 0.16 millimeter height. If you need to slow down or speed up the video, please utilize the YouTube settings at the bottom, and uh, you can slow it down or speed it up as needed. You can also pause the videos if you need to look over this slowly. So with TPU, um, the thickness varies. Like 2.4 is really thick, um, I, TPU is very, very, very durable, very versatile. Uh, you don't need it to be 2.4 millimeters thick. You'd be fine with 0 0.8 or even 1.2. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going with 2.4 because that's the setting I had used last on this. Uh, if you want it to be stronger, uh, mind you, TPU is very, very durable. You can always go alternate extra wall and optimize wall printing order. For the Z-seam, I go back, smart hiding. Um, the Preferably back in my case, like on a print like this, you don't want that Z-seam to kind of be in the way and it'll look ugly. For the top bottom thickness, I go with a very specific 0 0.84 millimeters. I don't have ironing enabled because it really slows down the print and it gets gooey and sticky, I find. But you can give it a shot. Uh, it might make your print look nicer, maybe not. It's TPU. Remember, this material is very, very tricky and gooey to work with. Uh, the infill density I went with was 30% and triangles on this print. You can probably get away with 10% because, again, TPU is squishy. Connect infill lines, connect infill polygons, so connect the triangles. I go with 50% infill overlap. Uh, you're going to have to play around with the temperatures depending on the filament you use. Anywhere between 240 to 245 was my magic number. Uh, my flow here says 120, but this is before I calibrated my E-steps for TPU. So I could go with 100 now. If you're getting a lot of holes and issues with your print, try increasing it a little bit. Go to 101, 102, and uh, play around with the settings. Everyone's printer is different. I'm giving you a generic general overview of settings that work and you're going to have to fine tune and tweak them for your specific printer. Or if you want to join one of my uh, uh, membership perks, we can jump on a one on one session and go through it together. So print speed, TPU needs to be printed very slow, no matter what printer you're using. I don't know if high speed TPU exists yet, but as far as I know, it doesn't. So 30 millimeters, it's slow, it's painful but it works travel speed 150 and then just take note of the rest of these speeds cura should automatically calculate everything for you as you can see if it doesn't just take note of the settings that i use here i don't have acceleration control on because i want my print to look nice do not turn on retraction if you enable cooling do it at a slow speed 25 percent at the most 50 percent don't go over that it might clog Supports, the usual, normal or tree, and touching build plate always, because I don't want them to be a pain in the butt to remove. I always go with one line count and 1% infill is fine. You can, uh, sorry, 1% support density is fine. You can go with zero, but you might not actually get any support with that. Uh, skirt works well with TPU. You don't need a brim. Believe me, brim and raft will be a nightmare to remove, so stay away from them. And then as far as anything else goes, just adaptive layers. So nice, simple, sweet, easy going. Not really uh, much more than that. Give these settings a shot and let me know in the comments if they worked for you. And if they didn't, uh, let me know why. And once again, 
join one of my memberships and I'll be happy to jump on one on one live with you and go over the settings. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and show me that you support my channel and support my work that I do. Again, I do this as a hobby. I don't get paid to do any of this stuff. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot out.